The worst thing about going to the doctors is the shot. For 16 years, I have been deathly scared of needles. I mean, like, I, I could not stand the look of a needle. Because it just, it, it struck fear into my soul. And today, I, I didn't go to school because I had to go to the doctors. And um, uh, they gave me the most needles I have ever took in my entire life. Had to get hepatitis vac vaccine, HPV vaccine, chicken pox, and I think melanoma or some shit like that. And they had to draw blood. Five needles. Brick, I would not be lying if I said bricks were shat. And the most painful one was the first one. When they drew blood. Not saying that physically it, was, it hurt the most, but it hurt the soul the most. Because my blood was not correctly flowing, so they couldn't get any blood. So I felt salty as shit because they got no, they got nothing. I had a whole needle shoved in my arm for no reason. So now I go back on Saturday and get the same needle in the same damn place. And I am just mad as shit. Oh God, how mad I am. I mean, this shit hurt. It hurts the pride because I, they fucked up the first time so because they fucked up I gotta suffer and that shit that shit is drawing I mean I've always been scared of needles every needle I've ever gotten has no shit made me made me made me wanna cry the little pricks on the finger used to scare the shit out of me so imagine me getting a long ass needle my most painful needle story will probably be the time I had a cavity and I had to stick a whole long ass needle in my mouth like they were trying to give me a cap right it was like right there and um they had to sedate they had to numb my mouth so I took a long ass needle about say Yay long. And that was just the needle itself. Like the sharp pointy part of the needle. And I cannot lie. Bricks were shit that day. Oh God, I was crying like a bitch. Oh damn, I was crying like a bitch. I mean, you have never seen a boy my age cry like a bitch that much. I mean, I was crying like a bitch. I think I pissed my pants a little bit. And I couldn't feel my bottom lip for the rest of the day. See, my fear of needles is the reason why I couldn't get a tattoo. I mean, I'm, plan I'm planning on getting a tattoo, but meaningful tattoos. You know, tattoos that have some sort of representation to them. Like my kids' names or my dad's tombstone. When he dies. This also brought up the funniest story. I was talking with my sister Jessica, and um, uh, I said that I was only gonna go to my dad's funeral to take a picture of the tombstone, so I could put it on my arm. But this is for the simple thing that I don't like funerals. Funerals irk my soul. I, I hate funerals. I do, I'm not going. I haven't gone to a funeral. Never going to. A, never going to a funeral. I don't want my. I don't want a funeral my damn self. Bury me in my backyard with a picture of my wife. I'm good. But that's besides the point. He said, I, I brought up the sentiment. What if my dad didn't die until I was old as shit? Like, this nigga died and I'm already in my damn walker. Like, I'm walking up to the tattoo part like, uh, yo, here's a picture. Yo, put this on my arm, nigga. When I'm only like 68, yo, put this shit on there. Yo, chill. Like, I be all this shit in the tattoo. But anywho, um, 
vlog question is what is your what is your history with needle with needles do they scare you do you like them do they just not bother you she like that um so i'm gonna go because i'm waiting for my friends to come out of school um two friends from my old school but their brother and sister and um they normally come by this way and I'm waiting for them to come out so I can scare the shit out of them. If you're watching this video now and I did not see you, I'm going to come for you another day. But if I did see you, God, the kids. All right, peace.